This is one of the most difficult easy coding question in technical interviews. So you're given two integers, return the Hamming distance. Now what is the Hamming distance? Let's say we're given these two numbers. We will first convert them to binary forms. Then the number of positions where the bits are different will be the Hamming distance. So in this case, we have two. Let's go over the dot process. We can use the concept from XOR. In this case, we can see that if the bits are the same, it will cancel each other out. But if the bits are different, it will be a set bit. What we can do is to perform XOR on the two numbers. Then we can count the number of set bits. Now, how can we count the number of set bits? We can use the formula m bitwise n n minus one, which can remove the rightmost set bits. Let's say we have n and n minus 1. If we perform a bitwise n, the rightmost set bits is removed. We need to count the number of bits that we have removed. Let's implement the function Hamming distance taking in the two numbers, perform XOR to get z, keep track of the Hamming distance. While z is not equal to 0, remove the rightmost set bits, increment Hamming distance, return Hamming distance. 